streaming is free, so the hundred thousand stream I tap into. Um, at this point, we'll have a piece of music from our able DJ, and then we'll continue. More importantly, may I acknowledge the presence of our guest of honor who happens to be our PS Ministry of Youth, Sport, and Arts. Also recognizing our presence, our Vice President of the Education of Commerce and Industry. Ladies and gentlemen, I represent the Washington Mayor of Quito. I'd love to be last this evening. But a few hours ago, she should have been at the airport. She's gone out of the country for a couple of days. So she sent uh, messages of goodwill to this very, very momentous uh, occasion. I want to say a few, few words um, at this momentous occasion to express how delighted we are as a local authority and to be associated with the great works of Lillian. I, I didn't know actually until today that Lillian has actually written another very moving book, and I want to actually find time to read it. I want to say this, um, ladies and gentlemen, that writing a book is not an easy thing as we have heard. But just as difficult as it is, it changes the lives of many millions that have the privilege to read the book. One wise man has once said, do not walk through life without leaving footprints of your passing. Now the footprints that Lillian leaves in the hearts of many is the fact that as many would have the privilege to read her book, she leaves the imprints in the hearts and the minds of those that have the privilege to read her book and she will not be there. And yet the influence and yet the impetus and yet the strength that they will gather upon reading this marvelous book. And then to Lillian, and perhaps also to memory, whom I have privileged to meet the past, in the past few months, I always told her, you have such a big memory. <laughs> These are young girls, but we feel challenged that we never did as much as they have done in the tenderness of their age. Perhaps we are not motivated ourselves, maybe time is gone for us to do what they are doing. But it remains for the young people to take leave and be encouraged to do something about their situation. And also be encouraged to stand up and be able to read a book and to influence the lives of men. Now, there are challenges, yes, but we believe that you can change those, you can actually transform those challenges into opportunities. I want to say one way to encourage you, the ways what one wise man once said, success is moving from failure to failure without losing the enthusiasm to succeed. I wish you the best in you. And I look forward to reading your book one more time, time and again. But as a local authority speaking on our own behalf and because of the pride we have, it's not the pride of Lusaka, but I think it's the pride of Kitchen. So far, we are two great writers. Please misuse us if you can. <laughs> Abuse us if you can. <laughs> so that you'll be able to provide an enabling environment in which you can be able to sell your book and any form of help that the law authority is able to provide. Seeing that it's not much of that of our guest of honor, whom I now be privileged to call upon. Uh, 
that makes sense. Thank you very much. I think we have to So first of all, uh, again, thank you very much for inviting us. And before I get to the speech, I would like to confirm to everyone here, especially the younger people, that uh, we have a government that is deliberate about young people, that is committed to respond to the aspirations of young people. And uh, we are honored to be here. I would like also to confirm to you that it was an instruction from State House to the Minister, the Minister to the peers, that we should be present here. So for those of you that were in doubt, uh, this is a confirmation that this government is committed to the affairs of young people. And we are committed to responding to the aspirations and needs of young people. So my coming here is a demonstration that we are not far or distant from where you are. And we are challenging and inviting all of you to come closer. Come closer, don't see or watch us from a distance. Because you may misunderstand what we say if you watch us from a distance. You may misunderstand our actions if you see us from afar. This is a, this is a challenge, also an invitation that I'm making to you. That come closer, walk in, walk in. For us to claim that we have an open door policy, there should be somebody willing to walk in through the doors. And as a ministry, I am challenging you to walk through, walk in. Uh, memory, we are meeting, are meeting memory for the first time. But before my appointment, she, 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 she reached out and said, can you share my book? I don't know what I said to her, I don't know what she said to me, but I managed to post that way. And this is what we want to do. We want to create as many opportunities as, as we can for young people. We want to put as much, as push as many young people as possible. So thank you very much. It's us that are honored to be here. Uh, you, could have, you could have ignored us, but we're here. Allow me to acknowledge uh, the presence of the town clerk, who is representing the mayor of Kitwe. Allow me to also acknowledge the, uh, any government officials present. And I'm aware of Madam uh, Malilo from the Minister of uh, Youth, Sports and Art. Uh, allow me also to acknowledge the presence of Mr. Samuel Piri from the Ministry of Arts. Uh, allow me to also acknowledge uh, Ms. Kanko, also the Provincial Coordinator for Arts, uh, Copacabana. Allow me to also uh, acknowledge the Kitwe Chamber of Commerce President. Uh, allow me to also acknowledge uh, Ms. Lillian Chipeso, the author, the organizers of the events, the art stakeholders and partners, members of the public and private sector, distinguished guests, media present, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to also acknowledge the presence of uh, the youth, provincial youth chairperson of the UPND, uh, Chair Commander here. Uh, it speaks to what we're saying. Uh, there is a commitment even at party level. Thank you very much sir, for coming through. Thank you so much. It is indeed an honor for me to grace the official launch of this book entitled The Power of self Embrace." Let me begin by saying that the poor living culture among some of our Zambians can be. Uh, okay, just a minute. If you look at my brother here, you know uh, we have uh, Beijing. <laughs> it, is, it is indeed an honor for me to grace this official launch of this book entitled The Power of Self in Greece. Let me begin by saying that the poor reading culture among some of our Zambian citizens can be attributed to many factors, such as inadequate resources, poverty of mind, and lack of interest to read. Despite the aforementioned reasons, different authors in our country, such as Lily and Chipeso, have continued to tell their stories by writing different, on different social, political, and economic, and cultural issues which affect society. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, 
Let me state that there is an urgent need to cultivate the culture of reading amongst the general populace, especially with the rise in the number of authors and the technological aspect, which calls for enhanced understanding of various issues. In this regard, the government of the Republic of Zambia stands ready to support both authors and publishing companies to foster national development. Our first intervention can be seen from the first ever draft national arts policy that we have put in place, whose aim is to develop the art industry and to ensure its growth. Government is poised to ensure that creatives such as Lillian Chipeso begin to develop monetary and to add the national and add to the national economic growth with tangible results. I therefore urge readers in this auditorium and the nation at large to adopt the reading culture by purchasing books written by local authors, such as the one we are launching today, which has highlighted various issues on personal growth, acceptance, and the power of dealing with trauma of any kind. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I would like to commend Lydia and Chipesto for writing a book on personal growth and acceptance, especially in this era where young people have lost the touch of who they are in a bid to follow trends. With these remarks, I would, like, I would therefore like to declare the book on the power of self-embrace by Lydia and Chipesto officially launched. Thank you. Very much. As we declare it launched, I'm also offering it. I'm not going to give you the end of the time. <laughs> but I'm, 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 I'm obviously asking our ministry at least to get enough copies for, for the two floors that we have at government complex. And I think uh, somebody from our, our, our department, our ministry, will be able to, to get some copies. Thank you very much. Another round of applause for me.